G'day Magpie fans, Dale Thomas here, your Round 17 host for the Black and White Show. Today we're going to go around the Westpac Centre, speak to a few of the boys, uh, get their thoughts on Ben Johnson as he comes up to his 200th game milestone, and also get a few of the boys' thoughts as it's Bring a Blanket Day this week. So let's go. Hello, how are you? Magpie fans, we're right in the heart of the Westpac Centre now, joined by Alan Didak. Alan, how are you? Yeah, uh, nice and sweaty, mate. My commitment is second to none. <laughs> How are you going, Dave? I'm going all right, mate. How are you? Very well, thank you. Could you please describe Ben Johnson in two words? Um, bald, with a little bit of red hair, um, but a terrific bloke. Could you please have another go at answering it in two words? <laughs> oh, okay. Bald and red hair. Could you ever go to entering in two words? Oh, two words. Obviously, two sentences. Um, Punting funny. Just a uh, great bloke. We'll go red and um, loyal. Red guy. <laughs> Good bloke. Have you learnt anything from Ben Johnson in your football life? Oh, I wouldn't say any specific I've learnt. <laughs> I've learnt to have a good time and, uh, yeah, that's probably about it, mate. <laughs> I've learnt not, not a great deal, to be honest. He hasn't... He hasn't taught me a lot, to be honest, no. Having a good time off the field. Um, yeah, I've learned a couple of things. <laughs> what were they? Um, hard work pays off. Can you confirm or deny that Ben Johnson uses only 40 watt globes in his home so he doesn't get sunburnt? <laughs> oh, that'd be true. I can confirm it. <laughs> he has no windows. I know that. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> um, has Julia Gillard, being named Prime Minister, given Jono an extra swagger in her step, as she's also a fellow redhead? I don't know who Julia Gillard is. No, well, I reckon it might be a bit of that, yeah. Um, well, he's always got the swagger. I was trying to figure out why he's up and about, but I'm not real. I'm, but that must be it. It must be it. <laughs> what should Ben Johnson do after football? Um... Nothing to do with horses, I don't think. <laughs> Maybe oh, he'd be a clothes model, couldn't he? Jono, good looking man. Dress as well. Coaching. <laughs> Definitely coaching. Retire. Not punt. Now this week it's Bring a Blanket Day as well. Proudly brought to you by Jason Betting. Yeah. <laughs> Could you please describe a moment in your life when you have been the coldest and would have loved to have had a lovely doona or blanket from Jason Betting? Um, yeah, usually it's uh, on a Saturday night when I'm uh, waiting for a cab to get home. Uh, that's probably the coldest time. And maybe a Suvlaki as well. Yeah, in front of the Suva hut. If only Jason Betting did Suvas. I spent last Christmas in Canada. It was minus 35. And I locked myself out. And uh, could have definitely used with a blanket. Probably from Jason Betting would have been good. Probably jumping off that pier the other week, swimming back in at the St Kilda bars there, yeah, without doubt. It's easily Mount Humphreys last year when we were up there in the blizzard, negative 15 or whatever wind chill. Would have desperately loved a Jason blanket then. A couple of boys said when they were up the top of Mount Humphrey, I unfortunately I didn't get to do that trip so I wasn't as cold then, but a couple of times when we'd been in Arizona walking to and fro dinner, uh, my hand, when I forgot to wear gloves and stuff, what I would have done for a Jason blanket back then, would have done anything. Exactly anything right. Absolutely. Absolutely anything. Well, Magpie fans, that brings to a close the Round 17 Black and White Show. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. <laughs> there is the man at the moment, Ben Johnson, wishing him all the best uh, for his 200th game this week. Don't forget to get behind Bring a Blanket Day this weekend also, and hopefully we can have a great result. Um, all the best, and see you next time.